Good evening, everyone. Welcome to our midweek worship, which tonight is using prayers from the Iona community. I just make, wait a moment while people join us. We will light a light in the name of the Maker, who lit the world and breathed the breath of life in us. We will light a light in the name of the Son, who saved the world and stretched out his hands to us. We will light a light in the name of the Spirit, who encompasses the world and blessed our souls with yearning. We light these lights for the trinity of love, God above us, God beside us, God beneath us, the beginning, the end, the everlasting one. We pray for ourselves. In Christ, the widowed find a carer, the orphaned find a home, the fearful find a friend. In Christ, the wounded find a healer, the penitent find a pardoner, the burdened find a counsellor. In Christ, the miserly find a beggar, the despondent find a laughter maker, the legalists find a rule breaker. In Christ, we meet our maker and our match. And if some need to say, help me. And if some need to say, save me. And if some need to say, hold me. And if some need to say, forgive me. Then let these be said now in confidence by us. O Christ, in whose heart is both welcome and warning, say to us, do in us, reveal for us the things that will make us whole, and we will wait and we will praise you. Amen. O Lord, raise up, we pray, your power and come among us, and with great might succor us. And whereas through our sin and wickedness, we are grievously hindered in running the race that is set before us, your bountiful grace and mercy may speedily help and deliver us through Jesus Christ, your son, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honour and glory now and forever. Amen. And we praise the Lord. Great is the Lord and greatly be, to be praised. There is no end to God's greatness. One generation so, shall praise your works to another and shall declare your power. All creation praises you, Lord, and your faithful servants bless you. They declare the glory of your kingdom and tell of your mighty power. My mouth shall proclaim the praise of the Lord. Let every living thing bless God's holy name for ever and ever. And a short reading from 1 Peter chapter 5, verses 6 and 7. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, so that he may exalt you in due time. Cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. And today's short meditation is by Boris Pasternak. When a great moment knocks on the door of your life, it is often no louder than the beating of your heart. And it is very easy to miss it.
Let us pray. We bring to God someone who we have met or remembered today and for whom we want to pray. We bring to God someone who is hurting tonight and needs our prayer. We bring to God a troubled situation in the world tonight. We bring to God someone whom we find hard to forgive or trust. And we bring ourselves to God that we might grow in generosity of spirit, clarity of mind and warmth of affection. Amen. And as our Saviour had taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. For all that God can do within us, for all that God can do without us, thanks be to God. For all in whom Christ lived before us, for all in whom Christ lives beside us. Thanks be to God. For all the Spirit wants to bring us, for where the Spirit wants to send us. Thanks be to God. Now may the Spirit of God, who brooded over the waters and brought order out of chaos, find a home in our hearts and settle our minds as we rest that tomorrow we may wake and live to God's glory. Amen. Thank you for joining me this evening. Take care. Stay safe. Bye-bye.